Hello everyone, welcome to HBN Infotech Tutorials. In this tutorial, you will learn how to design a postcard just like this one that you are seeing right now in Microsoft Word. This is my postcard design sample one and I'll be showing you another postcard design sample in my next video. So quickly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for latest tutorial updates. You can download this template from the link in the description below. Ok, now let us begin by creating a new file, so I'll press the Ctrl N keys. Now I'll just go to insert, click on shapes and click on rectangle, then draw a rectangle for a measurement of 6 inches wide and 4 inches height so you can take whatever height and width you want so this is also one of the standard sizes so now I'll just uh, zoom a little bit now let me fill this with a color I'll choose this color the gold accent 4 lighter 80% now I'll just go to the insert again shapes and then take this parallelogram draw this then I'll set the height for 0 0.19 and width of 0 0.59 then so height is 0 0.19 and width is 0 0.59 and then I'll just draw a line here I'll zoom this a little bit I'll just align this with that shape just like this and I'll just set the width of this line to 0.11 so now I'll just group both of them together so to group both of them together what you can do is you can just uh, select both of them by holding the shift key and clicking on the other object and then go to the format and then group and group so this groups this into one shape now we will need to make 11 copies of this so we can just hold the control key and click and drag to copy and then align it like this or you can just press the control D keys and then align it like this let me zoom out Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and the eleven. So I have eleven copies right now. Next what you would need to do is you will have to select these objects together go to home and then select and then select objects draw a selection around the objects then go to the format and then ungroup them so now you can click and select the lines alone just select all the lines and delete or there is one shortcut way what you can do is you can just move these objects select these objects alone by pressing the shift key and clicking on the objects just like that and then move them down now delete these lines so before that 
let me um, align these shapes align these parallelograms so I'll just go to format again I'll just click on align align top or bottom any alignment is okay and then go to align once again and then click on distribute horizontally so this will make this even spaced so now I'll just click away now I'll need to select these lines so I'll just go to the home tab again take the select select objects draw a selection box around them and press the delete key to delete them so now you will have to select the parallelograms so go to select once again select objects select everything and move it together now uh, we will have to uh, you know set the color for the parallelograms so before grouping them together I'll just set the color so I'll just select the first one go to the format shape fill and then choose a color here and just choose uh, this color and then I'll just remove the outline no outline and then for the next one I'll choose this color dark red and no outline I think I need a lighter color so I'll just select this go to the format again I'll choose this one now you will need to apply these colors alternatively for all the parallelograms so what I can do is I can just go here select this shape outline set to no outline so one by one you will need to do it like this torque red no outline so there is one dot cut so what you can do is you can just uh, select this shape sorry the, this shape that has the color and the outline properties and then go to the home tab take the format painter click on the shape that you want to fill color with the same uh, fill and outline properties so you can just um, you know uh, select the uh, shape that has the color then go to the format painter uh, if you want to use it continuously make a double click just double click and then keep clicking on the shapes just like this and now again I'll just press the escape key to get rid of uh, the format painter I'll choose the red color double click the format painter and click the other parallelograms so now to get rid of uh, the format painter you can press the escape key so now we are done with the coloring so now let us group them together I'll just go to the select select objects select everything and then go to the format and then group and group so now to get rid of this arrow you can just press the escape key so you get the uh, you know cursor like this so now we'll just move this here keep it here so I prefer keeping this here somewhere here I'll just use the mouse key I mean the keyboard arrows to align it on the line now I'll make a duplicate copy of this by holding control button and clicking and dragging or you can press the control D keys and now what you can do is you can just go to the format rotate flip vertical so I'll just flip this and then place this here so we need uh, you know two more copies so I just copy this one 
and then rotate this a 90 degree just like this one and drag this this side and then carefully place it on the edge and then again copy this and then you can just uh, flip this horizontal now carefully bring this to the other side and align with the edge of the bigger rectangle now I would create another rectangle or a measurement of 3.7 and uh, 5.7 and then I would like to just create this I mean overlap this on the parallelograms to, to create this kind of an effect so now I'll just fill this with the same yellow and then remove the outline so for now we can keep it keep the outline so now I will have to align this with the bigger rectangle so what you can do is you can hold the shift key and carefully click on the bigger rectangle now this and this both rectangles are selected now I'll just go to align align center and align align middle so this aligns perfectly with one another and now you will have to align this one I mean move this one and adjust a little bit just like this move this I think this is okay so you should make sure that the color alternates now here you can see the red and here you can see the gray so the color should alternate so same thing this side so I'll just move this up just like that now let me move this a little more I'll just move this I think uh, this should be this should be okay little down okay this should be okay see this line aligns here with this one I mean the edge I mean the tip touches here and this side see uh, I have visually you know I can make out that the gap is same see this much of gap here okay now what you can do is you can just ungroup this parallel parallelograms on your left just go to the format group ungroup now delete this one so I have deleted this similarly go on the right ungroup the parallelograms and delete the unwanted one so this one I don't need see this one where right now I'm not deleting it so I, I need this for a reference so what I can do is I can just ungroup this as well ungroup so you can also notice that when you ungroup uh, the shapes the these shapes come to the front layer so this rectangle uh, went behind so we can bring this forward in one click we can just click and select this so you can notice that here it has gone behind these parallelograms select this come to format and then bring forward and click on bring to front this one command just simply brings all i mean the uh, rectangle to front of all the parallelograms now now delete the uh, parallelograms that are not required this one this one i'm going to delete similarly i'm going to delete this one and this one and uh, now here we have to create a shape here so first I'll just go to the format and then I'll just remove the fill color for this no fill 
and then apply the shape outline for a second so i need a reference that's why i'm doing like this so now i'll just go to the insert shapes take free form line then draw a line i mean draw a shape here just click on the points like this like this and then finish it and then fill this with the color so i think i have not done it perfectly i'll do it again insert shapes zoom this a bit now start from here click click one more click here and finish now fill this with the red remove the outline then delete this shape so do the same thing for the other side now if you feel that the gap is less you can just adjust the nodes you can go to format edit shape edit points just adjust the nodes a little bring this down just like this then click away now do the same thing for all the other sides so i guess i have to ungroup this i will have to ungroup the parallelograms of the top ungroup no worries it has come front now we'll just make this object i mean this bigger rectangle to front we'll just go to bring forward bring to front I'll select this one sorry um, I'll just apply a outline remove the fill no fill and do the same thing for this as well and now draw a shape here drive shape just like this I'll fill this with the gray no outline now same thing we are going to do on the other side just draw like this fill this with the dark red remove the outline now delete these shapes delete so when I hit the delete the screen moves like that that's no problem now you can also notice that this shape has come forward that's no problem at the end we will just move this uh, rectangle to the front uh, we'll do the last one that is this side so I'll just go here format shape outline to black and no fill and then take uh, the freeform Draw, draw a shape like this oh sorry so if you have gone wrong you can press the backspace come back and create so just keep clicking and now um, I just fill this with the gray no outline remove this I mean delete this one now bring this object to the front select this rectangle and then format oh sorry bring to front so this will bring this to the front now we have this in the front of all the objects let me zoom out yes okay 
now it's the time to remove the outline of this shape no outline for this rectangle and also for the rectangle behind all objects that is the first rectangle this one let me move it and show you so for this as well we'll just remove the outline no outline so we are done with this so now sorry we will you will need to you know highlight everything and then group them up so same on the home tab select select objects select everything and then group oh i have you know well, chosen a wrong color here i'll just fix this first yes now i'll just group i'll take the you know select objects draw a selection and then format group and group now press the escape key now this is become one shape now you can just align this to the center of the page so how do you align this to the center of the page you can just go to align select align to page and then come back click on align center so this aligns the shape to the i mean uh, the shape groups together to the center of the page okay now uh, let me create some lines so i'll just go to insert shape select the line and then draw a vertical line while drawing hold down the shift key to create straight lines and now i'll just set the height for 2.79 and then i'll just you know um, bring this to the center of this uh, shape i mean the rectangle so you can hold down the shift key and select the other rectangle uh, the, then go to the align align center and then i'll just click away i'll just select the line now then move this a little bit up just like this use the arrow key to move it up just like this and then go to the format shape outline i would choose the line white to be this much and then i i would choose this color yes and now i'll just create more lines one here at the bottom hold the shift key while creating the lines and this i would set to 2.41 and then the same thing i'm going to use the same line color as well as the line thickness so this much and then use the arrow key to move so i'm going to align this to the bottom of this line so i think i'll have to move it up this up or bring that down now let me zoom this a little bit now i'll just place some text here so i'll just go to insert then text box simple text box now let me type postcard and then select this and then align center and then increase the size let me say a little bit little bit i'll make this 21 okay and the color we shall set the same color we shall set the same color and then remove the outline outline and fill of this rectangle and just make this a bit smaller and just go to format shape fill and no fill 
and then format a uh, shape outline no outline now we can move this you know a little bit up just like this and I would like to do one more thing I would like to increase the character spacing to do that highlight this go to the home tab click on the font here you can see a small arrow here just click on that and then go to the advanced tab you can see font and advanced go to the advanced and then spacing you can select expanded by three points make this three and then click ok so this was the setting I gave now I guess uh, we need to center this to the rectangle I'll just click and select this one and hold the shift key click on the object behind then go to the format align center so this should center that to the rectangle now I think we need to align this and this so I'll just select them both go to the format align the bottom oh I think there is a problem I'll just undo I'll go and check here so it says align to page I'll have to check this option align selected objects go back now align to the bottom yes now I think it's okay this works I'll just move this a little down bring this a little down so you can just keep the text and other stuff uh, at the place you want so I'm going to you know visually decide and uh, place them now I think there is an equal gap here and then equal gap here equal gap here the same gaps so now here here and here also I want to maintain the same gaps so I'll just use the you know uh, arrow on the keyboard and move it I guess there are equal uh, distance now I'll just duplicate this one hold control and click and drag and take this and place it here I think here this and move this like this using the arrow keys on your keyboard and then duplicate this press the control D control D D D so four times I mean I, I wanted one two three four five five copies now I'll just uh, you know select them together hold the shift key select them all then go to the format align to left and then align distribute them vertically to make this look even spaced now I'll just go to the group and group group them together now I would like to make this look a little bit uh, bold so bold in the sense a little bit darker so I'll just highlight this go to the font color and then increase uh, slightly uh, you know a different grayscale little bit darker grayscale now now uh, I will need to create two more text boxes here one here and one here I'll just go to insert text box click on simple text box bring this here delete the placeholder text type two here see to keep it small you can just undo it immediately press the ctrl z button so now I just increase this a little bit make it 16 and then the color I just set to this and then I will just you know ignore this right click ignore once remove the shape fill and remove the outline as well now I will just you know use the arrow keys and bring this here so you may
make sure that uh, it has even space just like this the same amount here visually you can decide that or press the ctrl d button and then you make another copy <coughs> now you can just uh, type from here and then use the arrow keys on your keyboard and bring this down ignore this as well okay now we will create a placeholder for this stamp so i'll just go to insert tapes and then rectangle draw a rectangle here i'll just set the height for uh, 1.25 and width for 0 0.95 so I just bring this up here. Okay, let me check this aligns with this edge. Okay, fine. This is fine. Now I'll just remove the shape fill, no fill, and the outline color we'll just set the same gray 25% now increase the weight to this much now the final step let us create some wavy lines here just zoom a little bit more let's go to insert tapes take the curve line start creating a baby line like this one two. when you're done you can press the enter key I guess uh, this is okay this Reduce the height and width as required. Okay, I think this should do. And then I'll have to duplicate this. Control D. Move it using the arrow keys. And then Control D key again. Control D once again. Now I'll just uh, select them all using the shift and click uh, and then I'll just uh, go to the align, align left and distribute them vertically. And now uh, I think I will need to move a little bit up, okay, this much, I think it's fine now again i'll hold and click the i mean sh hold the shift and click the other curvy lines and then distribute this vertically again now i'll just group this together and i guess it's center vertically center to this one visually it's uh, it looks good now i'll just um, apply a shape fill i mean the outline fill to this red now I think I need to you know reduce the darkness I just reduce this I think this should be fine okay yeah it looks perfect now the thickness let me increase the thickness okay this should look fine so let us zoom this and check Yes, it's perfect so I guess uh, you now you have learned how to create a postcard design uh, in this tutorial so in watch my next tutorial as well I'll be showing you another postcard design
after now uh, please give me a thumbs up to support my channel so i'll see you all in my next video until then it's bye from hbn infotech.com